Hello guys, this is the game the boy and welcome to another tutorial. Remember we have a Discord server. We are slowly growing a cool community of artists, game devs, writers, musicians, weeps and gamers. Come and join now and check out more exclusive content on Burstex, my game, and maybe you can get to be an Easter egg on my game. Also, 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. That helps a lot and motivates me to keep making more videos like this. First of all, you're gonna need, obviously, a gun. So if you don't know how to make a gun, go watch my FPS gun tutorial in five minutes and then come back to this video. Second, it's super important that you have a rigged model character and you know exactly what's the name of the head bone. And with that, let's get started. We import the model of the hat and the model of our enemy as well, both as a GLTF. And we open the ladder. We can play around with the materials just to make it look nice, but let's focus on the hat part. We need to make some changes here. First, let's change the type of the root node to a static body. Godot is gonna ask for a collision shape. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna add a simple box collision, not in too complex. Now here's the important part. I'm gonna select the, the skeleton node and add a bone attachment node as a child. After we click on this little icon, for instance, a scene file as a node, and we search for our hat. Notice that the bone attachment is going to be at the center of the character as well as the hat. But you can move it around to the position you want. Now we make the hat local to the seam by right clicking on the node and selecting make it local. After that we change the type of node to rigid body by right clicking the node and selecting change type. We also need to change its mode from rigid to static in this specter so it doesn't get affected by physics. And this is important because we're going to change that parameter later in code. Then in my case, the hat is too small, so I'm gonna scale the mesh a little bit. Now we select the hat mesh, in my case wrongly named hair001. We click here on the mesh menu and select create single convex collision sibling. After, select the bone attachment and in the inspector, select the bone you want it to be attached to. That's why it's important to know the name of the head bone. I say this because people may download a random character from opengameart.com or buy an asset and not really know the names of each bone. Now let's just reposition the bone attachment on top of the character's head and now if the character has some animation the head will move attached to the head bone. Now we can move to the code. Let's reuse the code for the cube enemy that we made in the last video and also we need to add a script to the head. Oh, I forgot to mention that you need to add your hat to a group called hat, just like we did last time with the enemy cube. Anyways, we need to add a couple of lines to our player's hand script as well, the script that handles the shooting. Under the fire function, we need a way to see if we hit a hat. So below the code we wrote to see if we hit an enemy, we can pretty much do the same to see if we hit a hat by writing Elif ray dot get collider is not null and ray get collider is in group hat. So in English, this means that if the ray is colliding with something and if that something is a hat, because remember, ray dot get collider returns the object that the ray is colliding with. So if that is happening, we go ray get collider dot apply hat dynamics and we pass ray dot get collision point a Godot built-in function and ray.getCollisionNormal also built-in function. So what we're saying is that the head has to have this apply head dynamics function that needs the collision point of the ray and the collision normal of the ray. That means we need to create a function in the head script. So let's go do that. So here what we want to do is to simply pass the ball to the main enemy script because what we want to do is detach the head and put it in the world. If we simply apply physics to the object as it is, if the enemy moves, the object as well will move relative to the enemy. So you could end up with the hat on the floor following the enemy by its own. In reality, the hat is only going to receive the gunshot and pass the logic to the enemy script. So for that, we need a reference to the parent node where the enemy script is. So we go on ready bar, enemy root equals, and we drag the bman's enemy node, and we add a little dollar sign to it. Then in the apply hat dynamics function, we go enemy root dot repairing hat and blow, and we also pass the collision point and the collision normal. So again, that means we need now to create that function in the enemy script where all the logic is going to be happening. First, we need a reference to the hat, so we go on ready bar hat and we drag and drop the hat and add a little dollar sign just like we did before. Now we need to check if the hat exists because maybe there's gonna be enemies without hats and enemies with hats, so first we say if hat. 
So if that is true, we continue by going had dot mode equal to zero. Here's where we are making the had mode change from static to rigid again. So now physics will affect it. So what we're going to do is repair the hat, put it as a child of the world and not the bone attachment. That means we need to get the bone attachment so we can remove the hat, i.e. its child. We also need to save the global transfer of the hat because once we repair it, Godot will put it in the same coordinates it had, but now are in relation to the world and not the enemy character. So we need to manually change the transform again once repairing it. Then we just remove the child head and we get the parent of this enemy, which in this case is the level scene or the world map, and we add the head as a child. After that, we reassign the global transform we previously saved to the head. And lastly, we use Godot built-in function called apply impulse and we pass the collision point and the normal, but negative. Since the normal is a vector coming from the object out and we want that vector from out to the object to push it. And that's pretty much it. Now just put the enemy in your map and test it. You can play around with the parameters of the rigid body hat if you feel that the hat is too heavy or too light when shot. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Again, 91% of you guys aren't subscribed. Why don't you? And also join the Discord server. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye.